All right, when we last left off, we were just chilling, hanging out, relaxing, um, bebopping, all that stuff, and uh, nothing was going on except for. Oh, how are we gonna do this? Um, let's see here. I need food. Let's see. I guess just eat some rice balls. Here we go. This one, right? The trick is um, definitely lots of damage. Oh. 
Alright, here we go. Phantom Cannon, baby. Let's use the 30. We got the presence and it's said to end the life of anyone who touches it its gloom is gradually wear down the body for its wielder oh demon king's bow do we have any crappy bows uh yeah we got a couple well that was fun dark clump oh my gosh okay well Jeez, that was a, a little bit of a predicament we got ourselves in there. Man. Alright, we will get this. Let's just do this, man. We need the heart container. <laughs> Whew! Man, I tell you what, guys, that was intense. So definitely need to go back and get some more bombs. So the next Blood Moon, we'll do that. There's gotta be a place to get bombs too. Those are handy, especially for those hand things, those freaking darkness cannons. Force transfer. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna do that. <laughs>
Can't see what's going on, what's it doing? No. This too, though. Dude, why? Everything I do is fun. find this girl, right? Okay. And the Temple of Time is here, too, so... What the hell? It's a lifelike. Oh, shit. I might have used a little too much stamina on that. Alright, let me get up here. Told you guys we'd get more bombs at the Blood Moon, and it looks like... Blood Moon is coming... Oh my gosh, really an electric light light? Where the hell are we supposed to go? Where are those things leading us? And why can't we ever see them on here? Oh my gosh. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's Zelda. She is evil now, and she is corrupting the universe. It's exactly what's going on. Okay, I have no idea where we're headed, so I'm just going to go with it. She said to meet down there. We've gone way too far, honestly. Right? Where's our adventure log? Oh, I'm headed towards the phenomenon. What the hell? The beckoning woman. Oh my gosh. Really? I was headed towards... Oh my gosh. Well... It wasn't all for naught, okay? We had some good times. We found a dark Ganon. We found the temple here. Shrine. 
song of time, and hopefully we meet the girl of time, since we're the hero of time, if we have time to do all that. Oh man, you know we gotta take it. Man, if that dark Ganon thing comes back right now, I'm gonna be pissed. That would have sucked so bad. I'd be like, I'm not ready for round two, man. All right. This way. Where are we going now? I'm sorry for all of that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and another. Oh. And your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> he he, I am glad to finally meet you. Now I can take, <laughs> take you to the last stop in our little journey. <laughs> your grave. What the shit? No! <laughs> Man, that sucks. The Sheikah are in this one? Man, they ruined the last game. I thought. Uh, I'll let you off this time, but don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Well, oh, great. Now we have to deal with these guys constantly. Yeah! Dude, you better pay me a lot. This is the third huh? time. Okay. So it looks like your investigation took you. It looks like. Oh my god, investigation. <laughs> looks like you really got yourself out on a limb there. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard a voice, so I swooped down and, hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? <laughs> I see. I could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set by the Yiga clan. If you didn't know, they're a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they are good at disguising themselves, but playing part of a villager I never would have guessed and all to flush out the swordsman who protects the princess oh. they thought you a young up and coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair they believed you were actually that swordsman I forgot this guy doesn't think we're actually weak that's hilarious uh, <laughs> that's just bad luck for you you definitely got some skills, though. If you can escape from the Yiga clan, I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write the headlines like Junior Reporter Falls to a Cruel Blade of the Yiga in, uh, par what? oh my god, in pursuit of the truth. Mm. Oh my god. You've worked together on three cases of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Mm. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know. I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. Good on and add, uh, go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh! Oops, and I almost forgot, partner. Teresa has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. All right. Anyways, it's time I took, <coughs> excuse me took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. So long. All right. Well, sweet. Um, what is this? Oh. Uh, let's see if we have a recall around here anywhere. No? 
I gotta check because uh, it's an easy way to get up to uh, the Sky Islands. What's going on over there? There's another tower. Oh my gosh. There's another gloom hole. Alright, I'm gonna head towards the Temple of Time and see what's up. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, I just saw this rock fall out of the sky, so we're gonna take it. trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. I'm trapped under the water behind the Great Stone Gate of the Great Plateau. The Great Stone Gate of the Great... Where the hell is that? Great Stone Gate of the Great Plateau. Trapped under the water of the Great Stone Gate of the Great Plateau. stone gate. I mean, I would assume that would be a great stone gate.
Okay. I'll be right back. Hey, while we're here, I think I want to upgrade our rock smasher. Oops, wrong button. Um, dude, I keep hitting that wrong button there. So we'll take this off, select that, destroy this material. Nope, don't use that, we'll use this. There we go, now we got a rock smasher. Uh, let's mark him and we'll do him later. Um, Cora. Okay. Okay, here's a great stone gate under the water, right? You know, I think it has something to do with this hole. In all honesty, man, maybe we travel back and we go see Robbie, because he was supposed to take us a tour of the hole, right? Um, do we have a fast travel point up here, though? We have that one that's way far over there. Ugh, man. I guess that's not too bad. Shit. I gotta pee. All right, let's find Robbie. He has weapons. Um, what's our weakest weapon? 29? <laughs> LOL. Okay, isn't Robbie supposed to be over here? Oh my God, dude, really? Again? Just let me go. Okay, who? Hmm? Hey there. You're a bit late, hmm? <laughs> oh, you're a member of the monster control crew? Sorry. We we just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's face. Oh. As we speak, one of the monster control crew led by Hose is carrying out a mission nearby. Ah. If you go south on that road, you can see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. Hmm. I'm just here for logistic supports, tending to the horses, making elixirs. Come to think of it, I did make some extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Might come in handy during your travels. Thank you. <sighs> I'm a little worried about this mission. The new members didn't get much in, in the way of training. I wish someone with exper fighting exper fight, oh experience fighting monsters uh, were there to help them out. All right, so we have that to do. Oh, what's this? Soldier's broadsword. Do I have some crappy weapon to drop? Oh! Equipment. You, uh, you see here is well maintained and combat ready, but the monster control crew has a lot of amateurs who never really learn how to swing a sword. They say they're more comfortable with their farm tools, so they left all my nice and shiny gear behind. From what I've seen, you better, <laughs> you'll be better suited to use this stuff than that bunch. Take it with you with my blessing and give the monsters one for me, will ya? Alright. Alright. So, there's that. Um, quest. Uh, um, adventure log. Um, search for Colton. Gourmet. Camera work in the depths. Do you think he's just down there hanging out? Do you 
just down here hanging out. <coughs> Ow. How far did Robbie go? Ah. Oh. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Panik from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Ah. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds. Now that I've run out, so I lost sight of it. Ah. I thought he was taking a short walk over the, that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was headed, heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Um, I do. Ah! Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'll be risking your life to wander here without light source. Okay. You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck. So pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time in the Zonai survey team. Simply the best way is to throw them with your hand. Okay, yeah. Oh. Um, those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down there. Okay. God, I still need to buy arrows. Okay. We're going to explore the depths. Take plenty of those seeds with you. Alright. Next time.